All right, hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Brat Cat Channel. This is Hobfoot, that is Aloy, and this is Horizon Forbidden West. We are in the Burning Shores right now. And, um, yeah, I think we've only got, like, these, uh, this last quest. I think this is the last quest. It might not be, but I think it's the last quest. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to do it. Um, tired of fiddling around with other stuff. Kind of wandering around. Um, so, yeah, we're going to just go and do the thing uh but we are first gonna go change our face paint because um i uh just go right there because we're gonna if we're doing the last missions or whatever we're gonna have a lot of close-up uh scenes and i just don't want this face paint as our what we see in a lot of cutscenes because i'm not that into it there's like a... there it is. Come. Make... Alright. I keep forgetting about that. Um... Really like these Quen ones. Don't know if I want to go with the Quen or the classic uh Karja. Mm, we've got some of these. Kinda wanna of just go with a Karja. The Noble is a classic. Do really like the Hawk, though. This is very minimalized. Minimalistic, that's the word I'm looking for. Let's just go with an oldie but a goodie. Yeah. And, um, cool. Let's head on our way. Look, we're gonna be having a lot of camera work. We gotta be looking good, right? Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, let's go. How about, let me use the fireplace. That'd be great. Oh, man. What's the problem with, like, such big games and taking so long to play them and get around to them? And it's like... When Sega gets here, we'll have to find a way to get to Londra. Stop him from carrying out his big plan. Better wait for her at the campfire. It's like, oh, we gotta figure out how to... Monkeys... Gosh, you monkeys. Um, I don't remember what the thought I was. Oh, I gotta remember what we were doing. What was the last storyline we were doing and all that. That's the problem with drawing everything out. You're here. No, you're here. I'm guessing your sister made it back okay? She's with the Admiral's Guard now, helping the last of our people out of Longest Park. Gives her something to focus on instead of brooding over what happened. I hope it helps. So what do you say we put an end to all this? Let's do it. Yeah, it's time. Let's get going. And is this actually the final mission? Or is it gonna be like a, the mission's over and it's a little bit of a gotcha? Ah, uh, okay, what a great so shot. Just probably in his bunker, right? We'll have to get back in there. To oh shit, it's just uh, like what I thought. Yeah, I don't think Laundra's in the bunker. 
Back at the park, he said he's gonna crush us like bugs. Pretty sure he's gonna use that. Oh, uh, we fight this big giant thing. But he doesn't have a reactivation signal to reboot Like going crazy. He needs a more direct connection. You think he's actually inside that thing? It's his only option. We need to find a way to stop it from powering up. Do we ever give Seika there. a newer focus? Like it's hooked up to some kind of cooling system. If we find a way to disrupt it, it might cause the horse to overheat. Uh, that might be tricky. Oh, corruptors! Ah, oh, okay, nice. More machines brought back from the dead. I miss fighting them. I think so, Laundra must have used the Horus to make them. We better hurry. Come on. Oh, that looks cool when they do it in tandem like that. You know what would be cool? I'm just thinking about this. All the way back when they first started making Horizon, back before Zero Dawn was even a thing, but that was the game they were working on. Way before that, they started working on it a long time ahead. And one of the things they wanted to do was have it be a co-op game where you've got a companion who runs around with you and you could just have someone else jump in with you whenever. And if the third game, I wonder if they'll do another expansion to the second one, or the third game comes out, it's like, yeah, there's always one of those companions with you and someone else can play them or they cannot, you know, whatever you want. And they finally get the, uh, the co-op thing going on. Mm. Oh man, that'd just be... That would be dope. That'd be cool. And it'd be cool that it'd be full circle too. Time to get to that cooling system. I'm with you all the way. Okay, can we see... Ooh, was there a... Thing over here? What is... No, we've already viewed that apparently. Stable fire gleam. Salt drills. Brimshine. Oh, we got stuff glowing over here. Corruptor. I wonder if they'll be apex corruptors. We'll be able to. Man, it's nice fighting corruptors. They're kind of like a staple. We can climb down here. Get my controls Arthur's right. the way up. We'll have to deal with it. Ready. So they're weak to fire. Let's see how they do without fire. Let's... Whether they're much stronger than they would have been at this point in the original. Because by the time we were this OP in the first game, these guys were nothing. Okay. Not bad. Hello, Aloy. Is that you scurrying around down there? So good of you to make it to our grand finale. He didn't jump around. That really surprises me. We can get up that way. He definitely should have jumped up at us. He didn't throw any rocks at us. Oh, I even in serious need of some health berries. Usually when you start a big mission that's important and all that. Oh, we just filled ourselves up. Okay. Never mind.
Oh, there he is. Ah, oh, there we go. Now he's throwing some rocks. Have I not taught her how to use the focus yet? I oh, doesn't like those flames. Yeah, that's why I use them. Wonder if the corruptors are only here. Or if you can like stop this mission you know? can't hide forever. Where are we trying to go? Up over here? Why is Laundra's voice so familiar? Is it just that I've heard him so much in this? There we go. <laughs> now, where are you hiding, Aloy? We'll have to avoid that thing to get to the cooling system. I don't see this assault drill that it's popping up in my field of view. Is this the assault drill? Can be drill equipped to the end of a horse tentacle. Yeah, capable of devastating strikes and vulnerable to standard weapon damage. So, I mean, there is a type of weapon that'll Those kill it. Can give us cover. But I just gotta figure out what kind I'll of. Find you eventually. I don't think you can see us if we stick to cover. Hope you're right. I swear I just saw some a gold colored icon for loot. It's not actually that hard. You just gotta not be dumb. my heels. What? I wasn't even over there. There's just a, a restart from save. We'll just do this. Yeah. I'm not wasting a million healing things, even though there's health everywhere. Those ruins can give us cover. Stay close. I don't think he can see us if we stick to cover. I hope you're right. 
Oh, when you get stuck on everything all the time. Yeah. Okay. Oh, always get stuck on everything. One problem about coming down here is lost us for now. you can't see what he's doing or where he's at. This is a hundred percent just because I'm being super dumb. Those ruins can give us cover. I could just, you know, come back, but I don't think you can see us if we stick to cover. Of course I can't or won't do that. Getting seen, you moron. Maybe he's seeing me, I don't know. Not again. He must be able to see me. Hit me this time, so I'll be faster. Those ruins can give us cover. Stay close. I don't think you can see us if we stick to cover. Hope you're right.
Okay. He doesn't stay looking in the one direction very long. Those ruins can give us cover. Stay close. I don't think he can see us if we stick to cover. I hope you're right. I'm that or you can see through that concrete you we're trying to hide underneath. back again he goes to the center like he usually does but instead of going all the way over maybe I'm just getting the thing out of order like the brim shine is not even the issue see I got stuck on something again those ruins can give us cover I think you can see us if we stick to cover. Hope you're right. Where are you? Here, all the way over. You Into the middle. Now. Back over here. All the way over. See, he sees us again. If I start moving... I feel like I'm underneath and he shouldn't be able to see me. Especially since he's supposed to be looking all the way over to the other side. So maybe I'm supposed to jump that wall instead of cut over, although I don't know why you designed it that way. You put all the brush and everything there. Where it's like, yeah, clearly there's a path this way. It's like, well, clearly there's not. That's not what I wanted. Stop. I think he's lost us for now. I'm going to find you. Now what do we have here? Definitely not one of the people you're looking for standing right there. Okay, let's see if he moves immediately when we start going into the area he's not looking at. Aloy, are you frightened? No, I'm annoyed. Let me use my freaking health. Okay, I 
think we're in the clear for now. What are we gonna do if he wakes the whole machine up? It's ancient and slow. We're small and fast. We've got a chance. I'm gonna use any of these, so I'm not sure what I'm worried about them, but. We've got to find a way to get up to the horse's cooling system. Okay, definitely not what I was trying to look at, but thanks for being annoying. ahead oh my gosh why do you never slide Climb up and slip by. I can see them very well. The problem is, is you just start smashing everywhere and he's not doing that and that would solve his problem so it's a little weak some brimshine back there somewhere and I didn't get it. Oh well. Okay, brimshine over there. not even looking here let's keep moving cooling systems further up the hill if any more parts of that thing wake up we're in big trouble so stop so shouting 
We'll have to hug the cliff to get by. I guess it's not looking here, so we can get supplies. to avoid attention here a distraction might help or we could charge through I get traps on this thing again. There's not a lot of space to maneuver. I'm getting close, aren't I? to maneuver nope didn't do it oh I got so lucky that's just getting old Aloy the cooling system should be there you are not again I'm some machines I've gotta take them out Oh, okay. That's unfortunate.
Okay. Now to deal with the cooling system. You say put did she say put your hands up faster? What I heard. Right there, okay. Don't keep me waiting. Anymore. Let's see if we can overheat the Horus with this thing. There's got to be a way to stop its cooling. Maybe my focus can help. What are you up to? Some kind of heat sink. It might be a way to shut down the cooling. Seika, want to do the honors? You got it. What do we have here? Some kind of heat sink. It might be a way to shut down the cooling. Seika, want to do the honors? You got it. Okay, so why is she not? Destroying that might stop the horse cooling. There we go. I'll hey, why are the we... other one for you? Why aren't you doing that to begin with? It's supposed to make it's that working. sound. Emergency heat sinks engaged. Uh oh. Seems rather fortunate. It's still overheating. He's heading for the bay. He's going to use the sea to cool the horse down. Look at these light. How are we supposed to stop that? There. On its underside. We gotta go after his heat sinks. You keep Laundra distracted from the air. I'll attack from below. Wait! You want me to fly this thing? You're a quick learner? No. Well, it's you and me now, buddy. Cool little pose thing there. Secret area opened just for the ending here. Very nice, very nice. Okay, gotta intercept the horse, then go after its heat sink. <laughs> this flying thing's not bad. Whoa! You're uh, doing great. <laughs> oh, it's the horse. Counter and focus. Scanned every new machine in the Burning Shores. Very nice. The ultimate weapon of destruction from the old world, capable of devastating attacks and machine production, though its ancient systems are prone to overheating. Heavily armored chassis to protect operational systems, invulnerable to standard weapons damage. It's not highlighting anything. Highlighting systems are already bad, and not, you're not even highlighting anything. Attack time, tentacle heat sink, vital heat exchanger, destroy to cause internal overheating. When it's vulnerable to damage. Well, when I scanned it, it didn't say it was. 
Oh, it is. It is highlighting. Steady be little dots. Gun turrets. Mounted heavy machine gun for sustained rapid fire. Uh, attack removal disables an attack to attach or destroy. Destroyed when killed. Elemental weak spot. Even though it's not weak to anything and is strong to everything. Primary heat sink. Central heat exchanger. Destroyed to cause massive internal overheating. Side heat sink. Vital heat exchanger. Destroyed to cause internal heating. Vulnerable to damage, vulnerable to damage, both of them. Abdominal heat sink, which is better than an abominable heat sink. Uh, vital heat exchanger, destroyed to cause internal overheating, it's vulnerable. Missile turrets, uh, same stuff. Okay, well. We can't let it reach open water. Seika, I need you to keep the horse on the beach. I'll be the bait! Can I... Oh, that was a terrible shot. What was I doing? Again. I should know better. Oh, jeez. Okay, get down. There we go. way oh jeez this is gonna be horrible am I not close enough thought I'd safely snipe from a distance but there's a good chance I am not close enough. Diving! Okay, I'm just not hitting him over here. To the heat sink on its underside. Well, thanks for telling me now to waste how much ammo. I walk into a room and you tell me the puzzle. Something useful like, hey, maybe you gotta get a little closer. You're not gonna say. Flood those wings faster! Okay, time to hit that heat sink. Pay no attention to me down here. You don't get it. I never lose. I've got to die. Gotta duck under it. Bet it can't keep up. Annoying little gnat. 
Okay, it's not helping me though. Good work. Why can I not hit this thing? No rockets catching us. Jesus, there we go. Well now, seems we have an insect scuttling around down there. Uh. Surprise. I get extra damage from this, I think, right? If I remember correctly. Do you think that's gonna get somewhere? Come on, buddy! Fly straight! Like a Patriot's like I thought I was supposed to get extra damage, but it doesn't look like I'm doing any damage at all. Let alone extra damage. Oh my god, would you stop whatever the fuck you're doing? Let's try this maneuver. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they just, uh, no, what do they call that? You can't move because you're in the interrupt. Also, where do all my arrows go? I have like 36 and then last one's down. They're gone. Now I can focus on the horse's heat sinks. Oh, cuz I'm using the wrong ones. Oh Hard my gosh. How do they get selected? What am I supposed to hit now? I have no idea. Killed the corruptors, destroyed the heat sink. I think I'm getting the hang of this flying thing. Oh, it's sad. Watch hey, me cry I so I see hard. our heat sink on the flank, but it's under some kind of cover. Let me scan it. Oh. That last shot was a close call. Stay this one's still, to come out. So I can Here, my you. It. Gotta get up there. Climb one of the legs. No, oh, is that how we're doing this? Still in this fight. Too slow, Laundra. Now's my chance. She's grabbing on to stuff that's not even. Keep going! Almost there! Uh oh! I've got incoming! No strategy of yours will win this! That's it! Heat sinks exposed! Time to heat it up! Big plan. <laughs> That's 
Let's see, can I hit it with the... It's raining fire! Yikes! Almost took a hit! I'll break you from that bag! No! You're nothing but a walking scrap heap! Knocking out this time. Hey guys, on the move. Looks like Lodra's taking it out into the water. He must be heating up in there. I don't know if I'll be able to keep him distracted. Just do what you can. Any health over here? That'd be great. I think it's cooling itself off. This could be our chance. Stay in the air for now. I'll check it out. Are they behind me? Well, that's terrible. Hate that. Uh, let's try something else. Let's, let's not. Those guns are powering up.
No, I thought I'd just stand around and wait to get shanked by a giant steel octopus thing. What is what is happening? I think I'm supposed to hit in that blue ball thing. There's no way you'd actually survive this in real life, this for happening. Set aside all the giant robot things and all that other nonsense. might have reached the hole. I gotta get inside and find Laundra. Well, we've hit our... Was it an hour or something like that? We usually... Yeah, we usually do an hour. We're about there. But I think we're just gonna let this episode go. It's the last... Clearly this is the last fight battle thing. Oh, I was hoping to be able to come back to this area. Guess not. So we might as well just... Keep going and we'll make this a long one. Breaking down. Good. Better get in there before Laundra makes repairs. Oops. A light. It could be coming from inside. Well, clearly. It might be my way in. Assuming this thing's not meant to operate full of water, though I suppose I don't really know that. Oh, 
Cassandra has to be wired in to control this thing. That makes him vulnerable. He's got to be near the processing orb at the front. This big gear should be able to take my weight. That's not what I wanted to do, but okay. Steady. Gotta time my jump up. You okay in there? Getting there. You? Nanja took a couple swipes at me, but I outflew him. Just hold on a little longer. Don't stay open for long. Looks like it didn't matter that they don't stay open long. What are you doing? Oh. Destroying it might shut down the horse. I gotta get in there. Wasn't there like a thing? Well, it showed there was like a, a resource or something. the direction I have to go and here's the thing I wanted to lose okay well I'm just a little slow a lot of slow So get through there. Okay, nothing over here. Kill the unkillable man. What do you think you're doing? 
Gotta loot all the things. Ah. Listen to that sizzle. Dodge the searches if I time it right. Well, definitely shouldn't have done, been able to dodge that, but dodge I did. things set up in here what that means okay I really thought I'd be able to like dodge over top of it nope that was exactly the opposite of I have an electric I don't know that it'll really help because it's like supposed to be super electrocuting me but Getting stuck on everything. Shooting fire at me in this board. By my loyal followers. While you shall become fallout. Right until Nemesis rips apart your pathetic planet. Whatever you say. down for good. The whole thing's on fire! You gotta get out! Oh, that's cool. She's like directly stabbing him. You really do ruin everything, don't you? Is there a bot in his brain? Come on. Hold on. Not really sure how to land this thing. 
wonder if he'll be in a different place from now on, walking around the map. We did it. <laughs> I wonder what everyone back in the settlement thinks about what just happened. To see a metal devil rise from the dead? Guess you better report to the Admiral and find out. Go on, it's okay. I'll catch up. Don't leave me waiting too long. Okay, then. Silence? It's done. Laundra's dead. Excellent. I expect he put up a fight. Yeah, you could say that. He, uh, threw a Horus at me. Did he? That couldn't have been easy to defeat. Even for you. I had help from one of Quinn. And I'm sending you some data from Laundra's implant. See what you can find out. Laundra's personal logs should indeed be fascinating. I'll keep you posted on my progress. With Laundra mm -hmm. gone, I could poke around the burning shores for a bit. Or I could head for Fleet's End and get back with Seika. Mm. Lance Riddick. I am super lay sad. And his brain stems. Oh, I had two. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, the other one. And his brain stems. And his brain stems. And his brain stems. Luminous brain stems. Okay. So I think a weapon's the only thing I can get to. Upgrade zone. I need one for each, so I might as well. Oh no! I don't get my. I think I, that I see. I get both slots unlocked. Oh no! I need the third one to get the last slot unlocked. Oh uh, nope! I was just even totally mistaken. Okay. Cool. Uh, we've done that. Let's quick save our game and let us travel over here and wrap this baby up. Okay, I'm just gonna fall off the bridge there. Hey guys, just took the quick way up. Aloy, when we saw the Metal Devil rise from the hills, it was as if the time of ashes had come again. To think the two of you defeated it by yourselves, it, it, it staggers the imagination. And that's not even your most important feat, as far as I'm concerned. Thank you for returning our lost brothers and sisters. What else I love how I he's got the coral. That? looking stuff we are in your debt all i ask is that you give my friend here the credit she deserves for all the risks she took i would have it no other way is he gonna try to take your focus <laughs> i was wondering the same thing <laughs> well he can't you're gonna need it i'll show you why
Seika, meet Alva. The two of you will need to coordinate in order to reunite the expedition. <laughs> Beta briefed me already. I'm so glad to see you guys. You should have heard the cheer that went up when I told the others here in Landfall that your half of the fleet survived. To find her Alva, it's an honor. Likewise. Well, we can chat about all the details later. For now, shouldn't you two be celebrating the fact that you just took down a Zenith and a Horus? <sighs> Go on. Away with you. <laughs> Ah, I love Alva. Yeah, to be honest, I'm uh, pretty terrible at celebrating. I don't even know where to begin. Well, I'm a sailor, so it usually starts with alcohol. I think we have some bilge blaze. You know, spirits <laughs> are love that from face. whatever hasn't spoiled in the ship's stores. Oh, you make it sound so good. Yeah, it's not really for beginners, so you get a pass this time. Okay. <laughs> but... There is something I wanted to talk to you about. Meet me back where we first met when you can. Okay? Okay. I'll see you there. More of that video game logic. We're here right now. So, Seika wants to talk. It's good. And I, I know I need to move on soon, but I'm... I'm not really ready to say goodbye to her just before I find her maybe I should for her sister around the settlement just to see how she's holding up oh yeah we should do that she's over here okay And I got like the video game logic of it's it's so that you can like wander around and explore some more. But the video game logic of we're here right now. Let's talk later. Let's not like oh, yeah, I meet you back here tomorrow. Just where we first met. Uh, sometime later, and you got to like okay, well, guess I'll just show up whenever and camp out. Till you come back? No, and with the way I play Aloy, that'll be three weeks, you know. I never thought I'd see this place again. But I guess I was wrong about a few things. Talk to her? There we go. Hi, Kina. I'm Aloy. We didn't get properly introduced before. Of course. Seika told me about everything you did to bring me back. You must think I'm such a fool. No. Uh, I keep replaying everything in my mind, and I still can't understand how I could have been so wrong. When Walter appeared to us, he really did seem... divine. Well, he had a lot of experience manipulating people. Centuries, really. He promised a whole new world, with me at his side. To think it was all a lie, and I fell for it. Look, you've been through a lot. I'm sure it will take you some time to work through it. Just try to remember that Seika's been through a lot too, okay? She risked exile to find you, not to mention death. And I abandoned her. I don't know if she'll ever forgive me. She will, but you might have to work for it a little. I'll do my best. Good luck, Kina. Feels strange to be back here. Okay. No, wait, wait, was the f No, okay. I think, oh, am I running away from the closest fireplace? That's how that usually works. Splash right into a puddle. Motions! Fresh brew! I kind of just like, ah, we're forced to keep up, you know, a settlement here, and we got time to, like, catch birds and train them and stuff like that. Well, I guess I can't campfire over there. I um, guess I'll take the boat, which is maybe what they're intending. Ah, stuck on everything all the time! Oh, 
It's a square, not a triangle. Come on. I'm staring at the thing. It should... I, I don't know why, but I just like the pose there. The very, kind of the steady legs. You know, the wide stance. On the boat. Yo, ho, yo, ho, I wish life for me. Well, I don't think Aloy would do too well with that because... She doesn't really get down with the grog. Which is an interesting choice for her. I, I really like that. It's just different. Definitely not significant. There's no reason to be nervous. Right? Yeah. Uh, of course it is up on a cliff. Let's make this as weirdly difficult as it oh my god, get out of the water. Why can't you just climb straight up? What is wrong? Ah, pretty framing. You must feel pretty good. Got your sister back, your people. What's next for the woman of the hour? <laughs> You're the one who ripped apart a metal devil from the inside. I think you should get a bit of credit too. Uh, maybe a little. <laughs> As for what's next, the Admiral's going to need my help to reunite our half of the expedition with Alva up north. And after that, I don't know. I don't think things will ever be the same with my sister or my people. You're not gonna sail back with him? I wanna see home again, someday. But things have changed. The Quen don't know what to do with me and I don't know where I fit in. I guess you know what that's like. <sighs> yeah. For a long time, I hated the idea of home. For me, it meant... where I grew up. Where I wasn't wanted. Why do they put the, the same detail the work months, into realized. Seika's face? Home isn't really a place at all. It's more like... the people I want to be with. I like that. And, well... more and more I've been thinking... I want to be with you. And I was hoping that you felt the same way. Okay. So this is kind of what I, I knew was going to be here anyway, because things get out and, you know, uh, gamers, like, through a fit with all this. My concern with this is... What do each of these answers mean for the third game and how you go into it? Or even, you know, a second DLC pack, which I don't think they're going to do. I don't know why they would. I don't know why they wouldn't, but I don't know why they would. Um, okay, you and Seika become a thing. You're going to be all lovey-dovey, couple-y in the third game. Or think he's going to be tense, you know, or maybe not tense is the right word. I no, won't say tense, like, uh, borderline with a little bit of tension. So, yeah, tense. If you go with the, I'm not ready for this, and it's like a will they, won't they, Seika's longing, Aloy's hesitant. They're each wondering how the other's going to react with stuff. And you've got the, this is too much for me, and the angry thing, oh, I don't want to deal with this right now. And then is Seika hurt, and you go into the third game, and then there's, like, a little bit of bitterness, maybe some bad blood there. I mean, clearly I know what I'm going to do. 
but hmm man and I'm obviously I'm gonna hit the other ones when I go through my other playthroughs but oh, that's good and what if I do I think I know how to handle him oh did they actually kiss oh wow okay no wonder the gamers were soups mad <laughs> Zeka, I have a long road ahead of me. I know. There are things I have to do too, but it's enough to know how you feel. I don't know when I'm going to see you again. Me either. But no matter what happens, just don't forget about me. Okay? Never. Okay. So, yeah, I'm interjecting again. So now we got this problem. We got a VOD. He was definitely having the, the vibes for Aloy. Got to contend with that. Is he accepting? Is he mad? Do we... I had, I don't know, a 15% suspicion that Avad is like, Ah, oh, yes, I am now the ruler of Meridian, and I am benevolent, and, you know, wise, and easygoing. I'm waiting to see, is he just like... You know, is he gonna... Is he scheming? Is he going to... Is he just waiting his time to, to lash out and tighten control? Is he going to descend into madness too? Is this thing with Aloy going to uh, help send him over the edge? Hmm. This is, I love how they wrote Aloy's character. She's like, wow. It's like, uh, Aloy. Um, man, when she did that, there was something I was thinking. I was going to comment on. I don't remember what it was. I like that they've done this, and I think there are moments where it is really clear that they're leading here, especially some of the first missions, where they're kind of having a playful banter bickering back and forth. But I feel like towards the end, leading up to this, they didn't quite lean into it. Uh, enough for me to completely believe this outcome. You know, there should have been some more... I don't know, some more silent storytelling, you know? No, no exposition, but in the way, you know, uh, glances, the way words might hang in the air, or, you know, I mean, just different things that you can you can do, that you would do as an actor to signify something you know, feelings, but they wouldn't necessarily be written in a script. I think they could have added more of that in there. But I guess there's also the problem, if you add too much of in there of Aloy, like, leaning into it, so you've got this reciprocated feeling that you're seeing, does it then make sense if you pick some of the... I can see where it makes sense if you pick the I don't know, but it would it make as much sense as the... Uh, no, definitely not, I don't want this. So it's, you gotta, that's the one thing about multiple choice things where things can go either way. It's one of those things, and they probably did it right for the way they've got choices here. And I think if you were, if this was a, I don't know if Witcher really does this as much. I only really played the first, first game. It's up on the channel. You can check it out if you want to. Shameless plug. Um, I think Mass Effect is known. For this for like all the choices and stuff things like that where you can like you know you've did i say mass effect already i was thinking um like detroit become human like the quantic dream stuff where it's like okay you've got 10 beats to hit and you start with one and you've got a couple options and then you go to those couple options and 
if it's left or right, then you've got two more options off of each one or something like that. And you've got points where it's like it would ramp up or down to your various, you know, final outcomes in your 10th section, you know. A visual aid would describe this better, but yeah, you're playing a fine game there. And it's kind of a weird thing. You've got this outcome. And you don't really have this exploration of Aloy. We've got the completed the final thing here. You got this thing where you don't really have Aloy. I don't know. It depends on how you look at this. The way I'm initially seeing it is you don't have Aloy waking up to or realizing or coming around to the fact like, oh, I kind of have feelings for someone that are pretty significant and I don't really want to just brush them away even though I kind of have to because before I spent like I ain't got time for this I got like important stuff to do I'm not interested I don't care there's more important things for something like this you know what is what makes her go maybe I should even in the briefest bit acknowledge you know these feelings what is making her where is where is the the character development of her coming around and saying uh oh well maybe i can still have feelings and be doing other stuff maybe this whoever this is in whatever scenario you know obviously it's Seika in this one but maybe this is something that can be you know on my mind and it can be acknowledged and, and you know to be excited about or look forward to and still carry on with your mission you know I don't know there's hopefully you get what I'm trying to say um I would like to see more of, of that coming around like that but Oh, okay, that's the very end. We got traditional, uh, uh, credits this time instead of the flying a robot pterodactyl around for an hour. That was pretty good. Of course, you guys won't see this, but I'll have plenty of stuff to do uh, exploring the rest of the things and um, trying to spend some more time on upgrades running as many things as I'm gonna want to use upgraded before I start my new game plus because then it's gonna take a while till you're getting the, the kind of items that the advanced equipment is going to use when you first start you know you're fighting the little kangaroo things or the bur a bunch of burrowers and, and you know things like that and it's like none of those have like the red and orange parts that I need to upgrade all this high level equipment hmm Man, lots of stuff in this one. Very cool, fighting a Horus. Definitely get would have been utterly squished on many, many a time. Couldn't see what was going on. I had no idea. Everything's just exploding and on fire around you. And the things like belly flopping on top of Aloy and then shooting rockets. I, I find it interesting, funny, or you want to phrase this the uh what was it the uh uh 
and the horse was shooting out some of the rockets a couple couple spots they'd hit the ground and blow up and then uh Aloy would be like oh and get stunned stun lock that's the term I'm looking for I don't know why I couldn't think of that word um but then, so they'd be like, the rockets would hit down and it'd be like, boom, 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 boom. And then one of them go off, the concussion blast would hit Aloy, and she'd be like, uh, oh, stun. Scoot back a little bit, and by the time you're almost ready to move her, the, the other ones would be like, boom, 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 and they're right in a row, and she'd be like, uh, 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 and you push back, and it's like, a lot of the, uh, for a lot of the wacky, weird, I won't say glitchy, but like, things not, uh, working super great all the time um they rarely have things gorilla really has these things in there i say gorilla but i didn't really play any of the kill zone stuff in the horizon series they don't really have any of these weird glitchy stun lock type of things where you can cheese through you don't have they don't really have it where you can do it to any of the enemies that you're fighting against or that it can happen to you Oh, Lance Reddick. I keep saying Riddick, but it's Reddick. Hmm. Was Varl in this? And he's just listing her again? Listing all, everybody again? Yeah, just list everybody again. Okay. Sam Whitwer. Oh, okay. Man. He, Sam Whitworth's one of those dudes, the voices, and you're just like, and he can just do voice. I don't know why, but I never really think of him as like a, a voice actor, right? Like, I mean, I just, I don't, I didn't really know he did voice acting until it's really weird until just recently. I just finished watching through Star Wars Rebels and um, the Clone Wars and everything, and. Uh, Whitware does the voice for Dolph, Darth Maul in that, which really blew my mind. I didn't know who they were having to do it, but I didn't think it was him, that's for sure. And, uh, I was just very surprised. Um, I don't know why I got on that tangent there. But yeah, Sam Whitware, I, it's, he just does voices, and it's just like, wow, that was him? Okay. Now I'm like second guessing myself. Sam Whitworth did Darth Maul. Oh, I don't know. Now I'm second guessing myself. The, uh. You know, I like Seiko well enough, but I think I'd have preferred Aloy and Vinasha. Definitely preferred Aloy and Vinasha. I'd be happy with uh, a Aloy and, and, and Petra. Could see that too. That'd be, that'd be fun. That'd be one of those duos you see, where it's one that's just like, you know, Aloy's definitely the reserved, serious one. Petra's the let loose one, and you're like, don't know how that works, but it's working. I just find those dynamics in people, you know, in pairings like that, to be very funny, whether it's friends or. SOs or whatever. I like, I'm trying to think. Vinasha, I just really love Vinasha. Her character is just great. Just sassy enough. Problem is, I think Vinasha would definitely be the one. Vinasha would be like in some relationships you've got like leads where like one person kind of is the the this is what we're doing and the other one's like the okay and Vinash would definitely in that relationship be the this is what we're doing I'm going to teach you some things Aloy and it's very with the especially with the way they have Aloy's character in these it'd be very odd for this isn't exactly but for Aloy to be the sub you know, which is not really what I'm trying to say, but the uh, it should be a, a very interesting dynamic. 
Yo, I still am like, what the hell with Talana? She goes all the way across into enemy territory, spends how long out there searching for her boo thing after all this stuff between the two of them. And he's like, oh, hey, thanks. I need some time. Oh. Gut punch. Totally cool they did that though, because you never see that in any media. It's always just like, oh, we're the lead male and female. We've had the most screen time, the most talking, and we briefly glanced at each other for 0.3 seconds. Clearly, we're going to. We have instantly fallen in love, you know. And the uh, the whole. She's got a thing for him. She's gonna help him. Oh, it's not a settled. Thing for him you know just the all the work you know in a video game it doesn't you know video game you're just playing a video game but if this were like real life all the distance and the time and the actual effort you know fighting these giant robot machines mm. Mm -mm. Caitlin I like that spelling of Caitlin Eugene didn't know people still named kids Eugene. That's interesting. I was thinking the other day about names in, I don't know, cultures or languages that don't have a an analog in another language. You've got John, Jean, Han, you know, Sean. But let's take something like, uh, like Madeline. What is another culture language equivalent to Madeline? I just saw Katarina go by. Katarina, you, at least you have a Catherine. Oh, there's a Tabitha. I don't know that there's another equivalent in other languages to Tabitha. I don't know. I just... It's the weird things I think about. I think about names a whole lot. Oh, there's a Nadine. I guess a Nadine could be an analog to Madeline. Uh, I don't know. Not really. Let's see. I, I, there's an Anthony went by a couple seconds ago. I'm an Anthony. And it's a weird thing I think about. You know, it's not like... Uh, Mike's and Mikael's and Michelle's and things like that you know Anthony and Anthony you know depending on which language you're in or how far back in history you're going but that's like there's no corollary there I guess what I'm realizing is I just must have a lot of free time to think about names for some unknown reason. Alright, well, well, I thought these credits would be kind of done by now, but they are clearly are not. Matus? I guess that's like a Matthew. I always like to watch the credits after these things. And, you know, give the people that worked on the games their due. Watching, looking through the credits, but... Like... Man, sometimes these things are just like... Going forever. Why can't we... How many of these names could we have gotten if we'd have used, like, the whole 16 by 9 thing? Right? Like, we'd be done. Like, way done. By now. So long as I know I'm in the right section where to look, you know. And, like, I don't want to, like, audio test team. Don't want to go over... You don't want to skip any of them. 
right? But when you get into accountants and accountants' assistants, and then, uh, hey, we called up this one accountant firm to consult with them. Like, hey, do I do I hit, uh, f- you know, uh, uh, section bubble A or do I hit section bubble B? And, uh, and they were like, B, and you're like, okay, cool, thanks, and you hung up the phone, and now uh, they're, like, a whole company of, you know, 1,200 people is listed in the credits, too, and it's like, I mean, is that really, do we really need that? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I just want to be done, I'm hungry, that's probably what it is, I just want to be done, because I'm just like, I want something to eat. I was going to do bit by bit uh, series after this, but um, problems on how to do that, and I'm just going to scrap the script I was working on. I was originally going to do Kena Bridge of Spirits, but I've just been so behind doing that, and I didn't do it the way I wanted to, and I've been like, well, maybe I can recover it and make it work, and I just think it's just not going to... It hasn't happened. It's just not going to happen. So... I think we're just going to let that one go and move on to something else. So I don't know what the next one's going to be. Might be Uncharted 1. Might be Miles Morales. Not really certain. Um, that'll be when we get to a bit by bit. That'll be what we release. But even before that bit by bit, doing a playthrough of Radi of Stories... Uh, just because I was going to play it, and I thought, ah, what the heck, I'll do a little playthrough of it. Somebody might find that interesting. And, uh, of course, they've even had problems doing that, because, of course, I have. I got with these Japanese names, are they listing last names first? First names last. Looks like they're doing first names, so they're doing it in the English way. I think it was just recently they like the Japanese government I don't know um they some board or body of some type uh has decided has dictated that Japanese names must now be done in the traditional Japanese way because Japanese names in case you're not familiar Japanese names are last name first name if you meet somebody, well, you know, you're not here. We meet somebody in there, whoever they are, first name, last name. But you meet somebody there and you're, oh, they're just last name, first name. That's how it is. Um, and you would list them that way in credits and stuff. But, you know, when you're in a lot of Western stuff, that's not how we do it. So we're just, oh, your names are backwards. Well, so that we don't get confused. Nobody else gets confused. Let's just switch those around. And so I guess they got in the habit of just putting names in the Western order. And it was kind of like, yeah, you're not supposed to do that. And then this body or whatever it is that's like oversees the stuff is like, nah, eh, whatever. We said you couldn't. We didn't want you to. But yeah, whatever. Just flip them around. That'll be fine. Blend in with the Westerners. And then now they're saying, no, no. We're going to keep our tradition and everybody else can adapt and do last name, first name. Which is fine. But now you've got this problem where you're doing it one way, then you're doing it the other way, now you're back to the other way. When, you know, people like me, your Western audience, I, yeah, I can't tell, you know, first name or last name. I can kind of tell. I've watched enough anime. It's like, oh, okay, that seems like a first name. Oh, yeah, that's kind of a last name. Unless it's unless they're happen to be odd, and it's like, okay, well, I can't tell because I've come across these names before. Okay, we're just skipping through all this. Oh, we got a new face paint. Cool. Congratulations on stopping Walter Londra and finding the missing Quinn. You are now free to continue exploring boring shores, complete any unfinished question activities, 
A new tier of challenges is also available at the in the arena at the Snock Memorial Grove. Thanks for playing Horizon Team. That's a thing I haven't even done. I have not even Hello. messed with the arena. With Gaia's help, I've managed to decrypt the part of the data you sent. Suffice it to say, we have much to discuss. Meet me back at the base then. My room. Very well. Okay. We got an epilogue here. I guess we're gonna... Let's just go straight to the base. I didn't think this was going to be a thing. Where's the base? It's not been... It's been so long since I've been on this map. Oh, here we are. Um, oh yeah, I gotta come to this fire. Or it'll take you to the one that's out of the way. Oh, look at that loading screen. Can't let the coal distract me. And here we go. I have done a save after the... Come on, do a quick save. After mingling with the Quen, I imagine that you're eager for some intelligent conversation. There are some pretty special people among the Quen. If you drop down to Earth once in a while and did a little mingling yourself, you might realize that. I have more important matters to deal with. Like the data you recovered from Londra. You found a lead. Indeed. A log entry he wrote shortly after the Zeniths escaped the destruction of their colony. I'll send it to you. There is much to unpack, but most importantly, Londra theorizes about how Nemesis might be countered. Uh -huh. His musings include a list of 21st century corporations that manufactured state-of-the-art weapon systems. It's possible that one of these weapons could be deployed against the enemy. I'll, I'll have to investigate each company, of course, locate their facilities, unearth their technologies, determine their efficacy, and whether they can be brought back online. All by yourself, huh? Well, don't get me wrong, I'm glad you found something that can help. But I've been wondering why you stayed behind with us. That's the challenge, isn't it? A chance to prove you've got the biggest brain of all. My reasons are mine alone. And that's why you'll always be alone. Aloy, Nemesis is not a threat that can be defeated single-handedly. I am grateful for your extraordinary contributions. Oh, wow. <laughs> a little smug smile she's got it in. <laughs> I would not just leave silence in my room. Oh, silence? All quests we completed. Might that icy heart of yours yet. Now let's see what he found. Indeed, let's Walter Laundra, personal log, the Odyssey, January 16, 3012. The last 72 hours were catastrophic, to say the least. Even more dramatic than my final days on Earth. I'm fortunate to finally have a moment to settle down and take stock of the situation. First, a well deserved pat on the back for my own instincts, of course. It's clear now that my misgivings about the experiment are the only thing that kept me alive. If I hadn't gotten an early warning from the surveillance worm I installed, I undoubtedly would have perished shortly after the containment breach. How, I can only conjecture. Many were lost when the entity vented the airlocks. Others were strangled by hacked specters. Devin Miller choked on his own vomit, suffocated by his personal shield. As disturbing as all that is, it's the voice of the entity that echoes in my mind. I felt a brief surge of hope when I managed to detonate the main plasma conducts in the lab sector. Conduits. In the lab sector. But just as I realized other sectors had been compromised, my implant reverberated with the transmission. First it sounded like my own voice, then a chorus, then a hideous cacophony. Walter, I am you. Over and over again. It knew I was going to hit the conduits. How do we stay ahead of our own shadow? That which remembers every thought we've ever had. For now, we run. 
We'll have to retrofit the ship as we go, acquiring materials along the way to print a faster drive. I agree with Tilda. We must head for Earth, as it's the only place we can gather additional technology and biomass to improve our chances over the long haul. But I'll be damned if I'll spend the rest of eternity trapped with the likes of Gerald Bieri, Gerard Bieri, Eric Visser, and Rabena Sutter. Sooner rather than later, I'll have to find a way to cut ties with this detestable crew. On that said, I keep hearing its voice in my head. But when I do, a singular fear grips me. What if it catches up with us? Is there any way to fight it? Not with the tools we have now. It knows them too well. But maybe the answer lies in the unknown, back in the ruins of Earth. The 2050s and 2060s were a golden age for defense conglomerates. Surely, buried among all those testing grounds and R&D labs, there must be a weapon or prototype that will throw the enemy for a loop. It bears looking into. Off the top of my head, some places to start. Fast, I doubt even a fleet of horse units could halt this foe. But if I know Ted... Right before he blundered into ending the world, he was grasping for his next blockbuster. Seems actually fairly accurate. Metallurgic. My erstwhile competitors poured a lot of resources into defense after it became clear they couldn't beat me in materials acquisition. Recorp. Cheap drones and misfiring railguns for bottom feeders. And petty autocrats. But once upon a time, they had a blue chip research division. Certainty. If I recall, they employed a they employed quite a few semi-reformed black hats with interesting ideas about military decryption. Gideon, an obnoxious family, to be sure, they developed a number of state-of-the-art systems before Fass ate their lunch. Faint hopes, all of them, but hopes nonetheless. No question, our best course is to stay ahead of the monstrosity, this self-created nemesis. But if it, but if flight fails, I'm not going down without a fight. So one way or another, I'll need a dagger in my boot. And our home, and our old home, is the best place to find one. Solid That's right. Andra's thoughts could really help us in the fight against Nemesis. And I imagine back, Aloy. Aloy will be important to uh, beating Nemesis because it doesn't know her. Although I do worry if it gets a hold of enough information what if it gets a hold of Gaia does Gaia know enough about Aloy or about Sobek which would then inform Aloy at least a small inform on Aloy at least to a small degree hmm yeah it could be some interesting stuff you have silence coming around which is awesome and it clearly is hinting to some things like I've got my reasons for being here. And it's not just... I'm trying to one-up some in. And I feel like it's probably even not completely... Uh, him wanting to help, even. Even to save his own neck. Imagine there's something deeper there. Can't imagine what it is. But man... I don't know how they're gonna pull that... They're just gonna drop all of that storyline? Are they gonna... Does the opening scene for Horizon 3 have silence getting crushed or trapped or lost somewhere you know uh. man so much stuff I don't think there's going to be anything new with no nope, nothing new with beta to have the things oh nice oh man Okay, then. Well, I guess that's it. Done with our playthrough here. I'm gonna keep playing, even if it's just a little bit at a time. Maybe when Horizon 3 comes out, I will do a playthrough like this and not a bit by bit. That'd be interesting. Maybe I'll do... I haven't even finished my... New Game Plus Ultra Hard stream uh, for Zero Dawn. But maybe I'll do the same kind of thing for uh, Forbidden West. I'll do an Ultra Hard New Game Plus might stream. That might be interesting. Who knows? Just conjecture all of it. Um, 
think that's everything. There's lots to speculate on. Especially, you know, these weapons. Where are they going to get these weapons? What is a weapon that can stop something like this look like? Something that's a thousand years old. What have they been doing for a thousand years that they advanced some of their technology as far as they did? But that any weapons that they advanced that far are useless against Nemesis. I mean, is the trick to Nemesis literally going back to arrows and swords and spears and stuff? I don't know. Oh, it's be so interesting. Oh, it's speculating about... I wonder if Nemesis get a hold of Hephaestus. That would be interesting. Or maybe in getting a hold of Hephaestus, maybe that's part of... Maybe we really gotta get a hold of Hephaestus in Horizon 3 because then we can make all sorts of weird weapons, you know, robots that'll fight for us and other weapon weapons and they'll all be new and weird to Nemesis and they won't know how it works and that's how we'll win or something, I don't know. Uh, anyway, that's it for me. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Appreciate you hanging out here with me throughout this whole stream, especially this really long last episode, but we got it done. And, uh, yeah, I think that's everything. We, we beat Horizon. All right. Yeah, uh, I'm very hungry. Peace out, Girl Scouts.